be talking about a very important topic from numerical methods and that is trapezoidal rule. The trapezoidal rule is used to find the area under the curve by dividing it into small trapezoids. Now the formula for trapezoidal rule, Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three by eight rule is derived from a single formula that is Newton's Coates quadratural formula. Before actually solving the problem, let's have a look at its formula. For any function, i is equal to h by 2, y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 up till y of n minus 1. Here h is the difference that we get to see in the reading. y0 and yn are the extreme coordinates. And here we have the remaining coordinates. So let's solve one problem. And the number of intervals n is equal to 5. Either you will have the value of n in the question or the value of h. So we can find the other value as n h is equal to b minus a. We have the value of n, b is the upper limit, a is the lower limit. So we have a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 and we need to find h. So h is equal to b minus a upon n that is equal to 1 minus 0 upon 5. And that is equal to 0 0.2. So h is equal to 0 0.2. From the questions itself we can see that my readings will start from 0 and it will end on 1 and it will have the difference of 0 0.2. So the values of x and y can be written as starting from 0 and having the interval of 0 0.2. So 0 then 0 0.2 then 0 0.4 then 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1. You can also do this as 0 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.2 then 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.4 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.6 and so on. And now we are held with the responsibility of finding y. So y is equal to 0 to 1 x cube dx. We have x as 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1. So substitute 0 to 1 of 0 cube dx. So we will get the value 0. Then y is equal to 0 to 1 of 0 0.2 cube dx. The value will be 0 0.008. Then y is equal to 0 to 1 of 0 0.4 cube dx. So we will get 0 0.064. Then y is equal to 0 to 1 of 0 0.6 cube dx. That is equal to 0 0.216. Then y is equal to 0 to 1 0 0.8 cube dx. So 0 0.512. Then y is equal to 0 to 1, 1 cube dx and that is equal to 1. So we have the values of y. Let's write it down. Zero, zero point double zero eight, zero point zero six four, zero point two one six, zero point five one two and one. This will be my y0, y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5 or you can write this as yn. Now substitute this in the formula. So our formula was i is equal to h by 2 extreme coordinates plus 2 times the remaining coordinate. The difference h was 0 0.2 upon 2 y0 y1 
y2, y3, y4 and yn. So y0 plus yn, these two readings. So 0 plus 1. Then 1, 2, 3 and 4 readings. So 2 times of 0 0.08 plus 0 0.064 plus 0 0.216 plus 0 0.512. Calculate this, we will get 0 0.1 into 1 plus 1 1.6. So, i is equal to 0 0.26. In this way, we have solved the equation. Now, this whole thing can be done very easily by analytical method. It will hardly take me this space only. So, i is equal to 0 to 1 x cube dx. So, this will be equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So, 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1. So, x raised to 4 upon 4. We have the limits as 0 to 1. So, 1 raised to 4 upon 4 and the value is 0 0.25 you can see the values are approximately equal in this way we have solved the equation using trapezoidal rule thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel